Well, that's an almost 20 year old Harley, so don't uh, don't judge it too hard. She d she does okay though. Uh, left and right are separate. Mm. They do self cancel, kind of. So I don't trust them, but you just hit it again to make it cancel. Oh yeah, dude, the cruiser stomp is a very real thing. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that that bike handles a lot better than you'd think it would, and it's super super comfortable in that in that you know seating position. They're really a lot of fun. Yeah, Any, anything good is not cheap, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yep. Cool. God dang. The freaking power of these things. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little it's just a little trafficy for my liking to really rip it. It's all good. Yeah. We had a nice open stretch this morning. That worked out well. That, that, that's not that's not typical. Usually it's more trafficy than that. Let's uh let's send it a little bit. Oh yeah! Dude, that was 74. Jeez, love it. <laughs> I wasn't even I wasn't even in it in it. Yep. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. That's freaking awesome, dude. Oh yeah, you could probably even tug it all the way and really lift it up, but I don't want to do that. That's cool. You know, I actually love the driver aids because I'm not a freaking MotoGP racer. I can have fun on something like this and keep myself in check to where I'm not gonna die. Yeah, yeah. Like on my bike, you don't really need them because it's not that powerful and long wheelbase. But on something like this, I, I can't handle, like no normal person can handle this bike really, like fully, you know, if you wanna ride it super hard. God, I love the sound of that thing, though. I don't know. I don't, I don't hear it too much, you know. Oh, oh that's parked car. Okay. Does this have a slipper clutch? Yeah, yeah. Is it a slipper clutch too? It's got to be, right? Yeah. I, I think I don't even know if they make quick shift without being also a slipper. They're probably hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, that does not have a quick shifter. However, if you if you tip out of the throttle, you can usually get it in the next gear if you really want to power. You know, I, I, yeah, yeah, not down. You definitely want the clutch going down on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I know. I'm, I live in an apartment complex at the moment, and I'm shocked nobody said anything, because I ride that thing to work most days at this point. Awesome. Dude, I, I drove one of those slingshots one time. They're pretty fun, actually. No, you did drive it? I thought it was pretty fun. I don't know. Fair enough. <laughs> 
Yep. It's on the right, it's on the right uh, bar. They're separate, yep. Yeah, the Harleys are like that. They're unlike any other motorcycle. And it's honestly nice. You still got it on right now. Um, it's honestly super nice, but once you get used to it, but it's for, for a guy who's not used to it, it's a cluster. Yeah, you're looking for this guy, yeah. I don't really have a preference. I mean, other than the fact that I'm more used to the Harleys, but. I know, dude. It's just a class, you know, it's, it's, it's super classic styling and it handles decent and it, it's got okay power. I'm going to do at some point, there's a company called Hammer Performance that does like all different shit for them, but they have a pretty modestly priced kit that'll give it 110 wheel horse, which would really wake this bike up. It's probably 70 right now. Um, I mean, that's fucking insanely different. And then it would be like, you know, it'd be somewhere between an MT-07 and this power wise, like, or like acceleration wise. And that's plenty for what I want. Oh, heck yeah. And it still maintains good torque, which is nice. Uh, yep, yep. So think about it, right? So this is this is probably 50 to 100 pounds lighter than mine. So, but mine with 110 horse, well, wheel, so probably similar crank and similar torque crank, that'd be a hell of a bike with that, you know? It, it almost might be too much, because I've thought about that too. I'm like, I don't know, that's a pretty hot freaking sporty. Because that frame, it's not, it's not of the technology of this thing. It's like, it's only going to handle the power so well. And I have better suspension on that than stock, but, you know, it's still... Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. What's funny about this bike too, it'll start up in any gear, kickstand down, it doesn't give up. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, you're good, it feels weird, but it's fine. Um, no, I'm just saying, I don't think you can sneak out that way, can you? To get on 890, yeah, you gotta go all the way around. Yeah, no big deal. But, cool, man, that was fun. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, like I said, I've ridden it, ridden it in America a couple of times, but they're guided, so it's a little tough, right? We'll have to, uh, we'll have to go riding sometime. Well, my buddy Marcus is home, and we'll get uh, his MT-07 out, the 9, and mine, and my other friends, and we'll have some fun. I got your number now, because I called it. Oh, uh, yeah, man. So what year is it? 05. How much? 2005. Uh, 50,000 miles on it, so she's got some... Sadly, it doesn't have more. I had some... Actually, I blew my back out last year. So I couldn't ride all last year, which sucked. And a couple years before that, just a variety of stuff was going on. I really wasn't riding as much as I'd like to, but this year I've been totally like right back into it. So it's been a lot of fun, but uh, I really enjoy riding it. I want to get someday, not for a while, because I'm really content with this. I love like if money were no option, I'd love something like that, and I love something that's one size bigger than this. And then you've covered, at least in my opinion, everything you need. But uh, what? I paid ten eight for it out the. Yeah, place. it's really, honestly, a bargain. So I, I really, really wanted that Indian Scout. Yep. And I really, really wanted that, but I wanted that slightly more. Yeah. And when I thought I wasn't getting that, I had already had a deposit on a Scout, and then, of course, this came up, so I immediately went and bought it. Yep. And then. Uh, two months later, I saw a guy post an Indian Scout for seventy five hundred that was wrecked, and I was like, oh, "Shit, I got the cash!" So uh, I went over. I drove two and a half hours. I offered the guy five k. He took it. And I brought it home, rebuilt it. It had eight hundred miles on. Not even. It had six hundred miles on. And then uh, I put two thousand miles on that last year. I put a thousand. 1500 on a CBR that I had. I had a 954 as well last nice, year. Nice, nice. And I want to say close to 5K on this last year as well. Awesome. Well, I put almost a K on it already this year. Hell yeah, dude. That's the way you should be doing it. Yeah. Yeah, finally this year, since I've been riding, I've put all of 1,000, 2,000 miles on it. I haven't, I have to look at my records, but definitely put some miles on it. It's all highway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, brother, I gotta get home, but that was fun. Awesome. We'll ride sometime. Uh. Oh, I'm in gear. <laughs> All right, see you later. You too.
fun. That was me riding my uh, new friend's uh, 